Good morning, class. How are you all? How was your weekend? It's all right. It's all right. Did anybody do anything exciting? Nope. Just kind of chilled out at home. Right. Okay. Now, what did we work on last week? Watercolor paintings. Yes, we finished our watercolor paintings last week. And I actually graded them this weekend and they turned out very well. You all did a great job with mixing colors. It's I'm very proud of you all for doing that. Now, what are we going to be starting this week? Yeah? Okay. Tyler, what are we going to be starting on? That's right, we're going to be starting on our drawings. Now, we're going to be doing still life and that will be, and I asked you all to bring an object in. Um, did you all bring your objects? Okay, great. Um, but before we start on our projects, I want to start off with a couple exercises just to help us warm up. Um, we will be drawing ellipses. So that would be like creating a circle like this. So I don't know if you see that. I'll draw, you know what, I'll draw it in marker. That will help you. That will help you all. Okay, so, so we'll be drawing ellipses like that. And this is to just warm up our arms and our arms to just uh, begin drawing. So like, what we will be doing is we'll start in the middle like this, and we'll move up. Like this, and then you all should be at your easels while you do this. And it's a good idea to maybe draw, and if you can't draw while standing, that's okay. Just sit on your stool, but try to draw just because, like, you'll get more movement when you draw. So, and then just work your way to the bottom here. And you don't have to press very hard either, just because um, this is just a drawing exercise. And now once you get done, I want you all to fill at least the top and the bottom of your pad with this. And then um, for your, and then I want you to go to another sheet of paper. And do ellipses like this, up and down like this. And to do the same thing as we did on the other side. See what I'm doing there? Okay. Now, we'll be doing this for the next, all five to ten minutes and this is just to warm up so your drawings do not have to look perfect or anything like that they should you should try to make your ellipses as equal as you can I kinda went off and skewed off towards the middle but they really should be should try to keep them as even as you can anyways um so just do that for a couple minutes and then we will check back in Okay, pencils down. That's okay. So, how do you guys feel after doing that pro doing that uh, exercise? You're tired? Yeah, your arms get tired. I know it's like constantly moving because you're working those muscles that you often don't use. Um, and the reason why I have you guys doing that is because a lot of the times drawing is a full arm movement, meaning like you move your forearm, your um, your upper arm and your shoulder and I mean because if you just draw like this I mean this is okay for like small details but for the most part you want to be loose when you draw just so that your drawing does not become so constricted because this can really constrict your drawing abilities like just drawing like that whereas this this gives you a little bit more freedom and a little bit more movement in your drawing um, 
But for now, like, uh, for our next exercise I want you guys to do is, since you guys brought your, um, brought your objects home, brought, uh, brought your objects from home, uh, you will be drawing from them. I have here, um, a cup that I will be using for mine. And I, I asked, I suggested you guys pick something simple just so that, just for this assignment, just so that you get the hang of, of drawing from real life. Now, what you want to notice is like, the most important thing to do is to look more at your object than at your drawing. Because for the most part, if you just look at your drawing like this, and not even like thinking about what your object looks like, I mean, then it just becomes just a drawing. Whereas like, and really drawing is more about like learning how to see, which I know sounds very abstract, but that's really what drawing is. It's learning how to see and how to see objects in space and how you can perceive them onto your drawing. And that's really the whole purpose of this project, so that you can learn how to um, see in a certain space and to be able to think more in a visual sense. So when I look at my draw, when I look at my cup here, I'm looking at like uh, how wide the lip is, and I look at like where the shadow is coming in. So like my direction of light is coming towards this light. Here, so there'll be more shadows. So there'll be more, and since it's heading there, and since my cup is right here, there'll be more of a large shadow here. So like, when I'm drawing, I'm noticing like all like like how big the opening of the cup is, and I'm noticing like there's a slight lip here, but it's not like huge. And so, like, as you draw, you kind of notice these little details here. Right? Okay. Now, this is not going to be the best drawing that I ever do, but it's just to kind of show you how I draw. Um, so, you start off with little details like that. And really, like... Um, and when you do a drawing, another thing to really point out is to just um, work around the whole drawing in general. Don't just work on one specific spot. Just continually go to each little spot. Like if you get, especially if you get stuck on a certain part of portion of your drawing, like here, like if you're not like able to get like this little portion here, work on another section and then come back to it. Partly so that you don't fixate on that one part, and then also it can um, it can help with like uh, making your drawing more cohesive. So like, and also so that the whole drawing itself can be a finished product and not just have like one part of it just be completely finished. Okay, so I want you guys to be drawing this for the next uh, thirty minutes. Um, uh, also, really consider adding shadows as well. Um, so like add, so here I have my shadow coming in this direction here. Like, so it kind of creates a sort of triang triangle. And that's another thing you want to also point out while you're drawing is like where your shadows are coming from. Like what is the darkest value in your object and what is the lightest value? And then from there, then you can go in between like what are your, what are your gray values that are in the middle? So this is just um, a practice. Like I said, this is not your final project. It's just uh, an exercise. OK, so get started on your drawings. And I will be coming around and helping you point out whatever mistakes that you have. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. OK, all right, get to drawing. OK, so how was that drawing project? Good? All right. Now, what did we learn today? We learned how to draw from real life, right. And we also learned that it can be very challenging to draw moving your whole arm up and down and side to side and everything like that. But it's also a really good 
way to loosen up for drawing. Now, and the reason why this project, I mean, while it's so boring to draw still life, I, I know you guys are constantly complaining like, why do we have to do this? I am drawing my shoe. This is really not the most interesting project in the world, but why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this project because it's actually the basis of make of starting to make art. It's a lot different than just saying go paint a flower or go draw an object that uh, from your imagination. This is definitely learning how to draw concrete items and to put them onto a uh, onto paper and everything and to because this is how you and the reason why this is so important is so that you can learn how to uh, uh, develop your own sense of visual space spacing, I guess. If, if that's how I phrase it, but um, but really, like, and, and it's just a, and it's also very important to learn this. Um, but for next class, I want you all to bring an item because we're gonna actually create our own still life. So like. It'll be our own class work still life and depending on where you're going to be sitting that still life will be sitting right there for you all and uh, we will be arranging it for the next uh, during the, our next class period and during that time we'll be doing like our own sketch assignment of that and I want you all to bring objects now um, another thing that we will also be doing is we'll take pictures of them, so um, so you will have a copy of that. Okay. Does anybody else have questions, concerns? Okay. I will see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye.